So let's get started. Open Adobe Photoshop. Make sure your movie files are somewhere on your computer that you can easily find, such as the custom folder that I've created, or upload it to a program of your choice, such as iPhoto or Windows Movie Maker. Go to File, Open. Now on my Mac's Finder, I have several options to open movie files. My PC has the same basic search option. Select a file to open it, such as this cat. Click Open, and there it is. It opens right up in Adobe Photoshop. Under Window, go down to Animation and click it or make sure it's checked. The window should look something like this. If I hit the space bar or click on the play icon, the 1080p movie file will play out. You can hit the space bar again or click on the stop icon to stop the movie. You can also drag the timeline arrow to scrub through your footage or to get to a specific point. Let's close this sample and open another from iPhoto to use for compositing an effect. I'll open this one and now I'll place a movie file from my custom folder on the desktop. Go to File, Place. Now find the pre-keyed movie in my custom folder, select it, and press Place. When it asks about the pixel ratio, say yes. Put your file into place and press Place again. You should now have a new layer in your animation timeline window that you can click and drag into place. You can reposition the file with your selection tool or you can resize it by going to Edit, Transform, Scale. You can hold down Shift and click and drag on the corners to make the image larger. Drag your file into place with the selection tool and hit Place. You can click and drag on the sides of your movie file layers to trim any unwanted footage. My composite footage is pre-keyed, which means it has a transparent background. When you have your layers in place, press the spacebar or click the play icon to play your composited scene. If you click on the arrow to the left of the composite layer, it brings up more options, such as opacity and position. We're going to click on position to set a key point. Scrub to the end of your footage and place your composite footage where you would like it to end in the scene to create the end key point. Now, if you press play, you can see the composite layer animates and gives the illusion of movement. The Jeep slowly rolls forward as it explodes. Let's create the composite movie file. Go to File, Export, Render Video. Rename your video to whatever you would like and can easily find. I'm going to name mine and save it into my custom folder on my desktop. Photoshop defaults to a QuickTime movie file or .mov at a size resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click on Render and you should see a progress bar that says Exporting Video. Wait for the bar to fill up completely and when it's done you should be able to find a .mov file of your composited footage in the folder you selected under your file name. Now you have a visual effect movie file created from Adobe Photoshop that you can use in any movie editing program of your choice.